Here's a lecture. A big version, just a big version of what the author recommends. They're all very small. Just because it looks big and scary does not mean this thing was a predator. Does not mean it ate any other dinosaur. It's actually it's a omnivore, which means it eats both plants and small dinosaurs. Guess I proved myself wrong. It ate very other small dinosaurs and also ate unfertilized eggs. They are also related to Therosinosaurids, which have similar things like their neck, claws, stuff like that, and beak. Other dinosaurs in this area are um, Archosaurs, Therosinosaurids, Arbosaurus, and Archaeoanthomites. Some of the Abiraptors. Oh yeah, that's one of the descendants, I think. The Gigaraptor was found in parts of Asia, like Mongolia, China, areas and they can help them track mates like all the dinosaurs with fur. Their environment looks like a area sort of like what the Utah Raptors was in the woods. It was a big watery area, a lot of water in the area, such as this big huge lake. Stop it from eating eggs, it's plants. The only thing that can stop it from eating is the tarbosaurus. You see, it's going to be a big And maybe a parasaur. Or a parasaur. like the Archaeo with the monsters. They wouldn't even try to eat the Tarbosaurus if it was trying to eat it. They would just probably peck at it, try to hurt it, and they won't eat it. They're, they're not for it. They're not exactly here to eat just Anyway guys, I'm going to video. I'll see you guys later.